What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so, a little something something, guys. It would seem that I did pass by a few locations to get, uh, you know, some important evolutionary stones, so we probably would have had fully evolved Pokemon by now. And, uh, well, since things are about to get a little crazy, I'm going to go and get those evolutionary stones in this episode, and then uh, hopefully get three evolutions while we're at it. So, the evolutionary stones that I'm talking about is the Sunstone and the Dust Stone. Now, apparently I've passed them by. Cannot believe I didn't check these uh, the, this properly. And, uh, well, that, that right there will require us to go to, well, the desert. The, well, the, the wasteland near the, the uh, what was it called? Uh, the wasteland near, what was it called? I uh, can't remember what it was called. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, here we go. Lumioi City. Now, it is the location where we found, what's his face? Uh, the fishing stack right here. Okay, Lavera City. Where, oh, where can I find this place? Let's see. Campfire. Apart from Palace. What is this? Ah, the Kalos Power Plant. Okay. So, we need to go back to the Lumioi's, uh, Lumioi City. Because, well, again, your boy forgot the Sunstone. And the Dust Stone. And I did skip on a, a specific cave to do that. Holy buckets. Okay. You guys probably should have said something. So, here we are in Lumioi City. And uh, we are not going to be doing anything of the sort when it comes to... Uh, to Team Galactic or Team whatever their their name is called, uh, Team Flare, yes. So let's see, let's go straight into the town map, and what we need to do is, I guess Route 13, Route 13, Environmental. Okay, so how do we get there? How do we get there? Par from Palace. Eh, okay, so 13, I guess. Yes, Route 13. Let's see. Uh, let's go straight to a... Uh, what was it called? Um, let's go straight to a taxi and see if they can actually help us out right here. Or if not, we'll just run through it. We will find out eventually. So let's see. Here we are. And that is Route 4. Talk to this guy. If, you know, I can control this. Thanks for the Lumi Cab. All right, so let's see. What am I in the mood for? Fan cafe services, transportation, and uh, another place. Uh, transportation, where are we headed? Let's go to Route 13 right here. Okay, let's go. He's taking us there, and in a jiffy, we are going to be right in front of Route 13. So let's go ahead and uh, get back to our little roots right here. Okay, so if you guys remember, we were here a while back, and we didn't exactly do everything on here because, well, it was windy, there was these Pokemon attacking us, and there were specific spots that we didn't go to because, well, you know, we were lazy and all that stuff. So, we're going to get attacked by Pokemon, such as this guy, Gibble, a.k.a. Sharptooth. And uh, we're going to run away from you for right now because, yes, we, we, we kind of don't want that smoke right now. We don't. Okay, so let's see. Where, oh, where is that specific spot that I was looking at? Ah, here we go. It has to be right down here somewhere. No. Let's see. Right. Damn it. Okay. Again, it's going to get a little, like, it's going to get a little bit annoying because, you know, these Pokemon are just going to pop out. And sometimes you're going to get a Trampage or a Doug Trio that will use Arena Trap. And you're going to have to battle these Pokemon right here. So, yeah, we're just trying to stay the heck away from these guys right here. And is it right here? No. All right, we got to get the heck out of here. Where the heck is it? That's not it. Somewhere around here. I could smell it. I could smell it. Where is it? Donde estas? It's right here somewhere, god dang it. Okay, uh, you know what? It might be there. Just... Jesus Christ. Again, make sure to have enough speed when you're... When you're on your, uh... What was it called? Your skates, guys, because you won't be able to go anywhere. And I don't think this is a spot where we, you need to go. 
And yes, we're going to be using Rock Smash. And... Uh, let's see. I think that's the one right there. Probably. I don't even know. Let's see. Is it here somewhere? Ah, here it is. Okay, so... We have to go through this place right here, guys. And this one will lead us... This one will lead us towards the area or the spot we need to go to in order to get a sunstone. So, there we go. Get enough speed. And bam. No Pokemon will attack us. And there you go, guys. We found ourselves a sunstone. Okay. So, that's uh, number one. I'll be right back with you guys to go to the next uh, area that we need to go to. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So, it turns out that the dust stone is going to have to wait for like maybe a few episodes and all that stuff so we're gonna go to magenta place uh just to take care of all that stuff but first let's go right ahead and evolve uh nova because well shoot it's 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 time plus it's already learned all its moves you might as well give it a little treat while we're at it so here it is guys nova's final evolution look at this it's evolving those flappy ears are going to become awesome satellite-looking kind of dealios and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say except for that. <laughs> so, here it is, guys. Nova's evolution. Say hello to Heliolisk. Yeah, it's looking pretty awesome right there, especially with the sun rays that it has right there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Heliolisk. Where are you? How's it going, Nova? How is it going? Look at you. Okay, so it does have the sand, uh, the sand veil, which boosts up the Pokemon's evasion in a sandstorm. So we might as well give it sandstorm while we're at it. Its stats did increase exponentially, like its speed and special attack, special defense. So yeah, all that fun stuff. Now, in this episode, we're going to be the, doing the first round of the whole Team uh, Flare deal. We have to go to Magenta Pass or something, Magenta Square. In order to find Team uh, Team uh, Flare's uh, little hideout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a little lazy. And I'm going to talk to this guy to take me to a cafe. Let's see. Cafes. And let's go to La Sandre Cafe. There we go. Okay. Send me over there, please. Th and thank you. And here we are. And, well, we are right in front of the, the whole location. So we might as well just, like, go in there. And, well, the song has become a little bit more ominous. And these people right here are looking a little less friendly. Today, our special is, get out of here or else. Ah. Alrighty, so here we are taking on a Team Flare Grunt. And he will be coming out with a Scrafty. Alrighty. It is time, guys, to kick some butt and take some names. Here is Jordan the Goat. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with the leech, uh, horn leech right here. Look at his big old horns. Taking a lot of its HP. And here comes a crunch attack. Holy buckets. Will that be painful? Probably. And that will lower our physical defense. So let's go ahead and do one more horn leech for the win. And just like that, guys. Yes, we got some more points. We have defeated him. And we are moving on forward. Jordan the Goat. Kicking some butt, taking some names. And, well, yes, he's not feeling so happy right now. Okay. Let us switch out our Pokemon. And, oh, no. He'll find out the password to the hidden door is in the cafe. It is open sesame. Okay. Well, isn't it always open sesame? I, I just don't know. I, I really don't. So let's go with Nova right here and see what Nova can do. And uh, let's see what this lady has to say. Today's special is Scramble. If you don't get out of here now. Wow, scramble. Okay. Let's go take it on a Team Flare Grunt. And she will be coming out with her Lyperd. Alright. Lyperd, how's it going? Here is the new and improved Nova. Look at this. Nova's looking pretty tall. Ready to go. Let's go with the Bulldoze. Because, uh, yes. I have a feeling this Pokemon's going to try and be like using its speed and all that stuff. So, that right there will lower its speed by one. And, well, we're going to get hit by a critical one. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's get a little bit of a boost right there. Nova, let's go. Thunderbolt attack. And that is how you do that. Okay, alrighty. 
And, well, Team Flare Grunt has been defeated, and she's, uh, yeah, she's a waitress. We already know this. At this rate, he'll figure out there's a hidden door in the, to Lissandre Cafe, or Lissandre Labs. So here we go. Piece of furniture giving off a mysterious vibe is a hidden door. Draven said the password in front of the hidden door. Open sesame. Open sesame. I don't know why that is. And, well... Here we are in Lissandre Labs, and the guy waiting for us right there, Lissandre. Welcome. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. Only the chosen ones will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you want to have a ticket, or do you want to stop me? Show me in battle. Okay, already. So here it is, guys, our first battle against Lissandre. He's looking pretty mean right there. Holy Christ. So here he is going to be coming out with a mind foo. And already I am at a disadvantage right here because, well, Nova. Normal type Pokemon still. Yeah. Not going to happen. Let's go with Nacho Libre. Alrighty. This is how we do it. And, well, here comes a high jump kick. That would have finished off my Nova real quick, quickly right there. So... Let's go right ahead and use a fly attack. That's right. This Pokemon can fly. If it can fly, it is a flying type Pokemon. I don't care what anybody says. And, well, here comes the fly attack. And just like that. Mind Fu defeated. Okay. All righty. There you go. And we're going to be taking on a Murkrow right here. So I guess I should be using Nova. I guess. Let's see if Nova can actually do something about this. So here we are back with Nova. Here comes Murkrow. And thankfully it is not fully evolved just yet. So let's go straight for a Thunderbolt attack right here. And that will finish off Murkrow. Oh, yes. Okay. So Nova, you know, holding its own. And yes, thankfully we do have leftovers. So it's going to give us uh, just a little bit of a boost. And here comes a Gyarados. So I'm going to try my luck against Gyarados right here. And it does have Intimidate. Luckily for us, we are not a physical attacker. So let's go again. Another Thunderbolt. And that will finish off Gyarados. Alrighty, Nova. Look at you. And Jordan the Goat, level 52. Moko, growing to level 48. And just like that, we're getting some more points from our leftovers. Here comes a Pyroar. You know what? Let's go ahead and let Nova, you know, let's let Nova cook just a little bit with a Surf Attack. Alrighty, Surf Attack. You didn't expect that from him, huh? Alrighty, and here comes Fire Blast. And that nearly finishes us off. Alright, Nova, you can do this. You're on a winning streak. Finish him. Let's go with a Surf Attack. And there you go. Nova, victorious yet again. Alrighty. Okay. And there you go. It grows to level 50. Yes. Okay. So, Lissandre has been defeated for the first time right here. Excellent. I can feel the fire of your convictions burning deep within your heart. And I am going yes. Because I am awesome like that. I hope. All right, so he's like, ha, 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 Your convictions and those of your Pokemon please me. You are here to stop me, but I ask you to wait. I tried to save people and the world with the profit from this lab, but my efforts had no effect. The world was too, just too vast and too full of fools that I couldn't save through my hard work alone. That's why I decided that the only way to save the world was to take it all for myself. I don't expect that I, have, I will ever make you understand how I, uh, I think and feel. Try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must. But to do so, you have to explore our lab and our Pokemon battles with uh, all you meet. Ah, okay. Oh, and uh, as for the elevator key, one of the Team Flare scientists has it. So, yeah, you, you probably meet. Yeah, he has it. Okay. Saving everything, the world is suffering because of its absurd dream. Ah, okay. He is making it hard for us. This is how I, I, I do things. Okay. So, let's see. There is something that I want to try out, guys. Um, we did get a rare candy early on. We have one. I'm going to give one to Moko right here because... 
yeah, I want to give one to him and one to do blade or blade because it will learn its newest move, the sacred sword attack. That right there is a fighting type attack, and that will, you know, actually help us out in the long run. Let's forget that. Okay, alrighty. It has sacred sword. Okay, so the deal is this, guys. Um, you the only way to evolve. Sligu, I believe that's what its name is. It has to be in an environment where rain or fog is at. We have no fog. There is no rain around here. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is battle it through evolution by just turning on a, uh, a rain dance. So here we go. Taking on a Team Flare Grunt. And she is coming out with a Swalot right here. All right, Moko. Time to do it. Time to evolve. Time to be the Pokemon that you were meant to be. Let's go with a Body Slam right here. And that doesn't do anything. Holy buckets. Okay, so this is really not going to do anything. Okay, alrighty. It's really not going to do anything. So let's go with a Rain Dance just to get this whole thing going. And there you go. Rain Dance is doing its thing. And uh, here comes another Stockpile. Now, Stockpile is going to increase the attack or the defense of this Pokemon. So we got to beat it quickly. So here you go. Dragon Pulse. And that doesn't do much. And here comes a Swallow. So Swallow right here will heal up its Pokemon, but will re return every uh, every uh, stat that was heightened back to its uh, original stuff right here. So here we go. Muddy Water. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're going to make it hard for us to just beat this Pokemon, so let's go ahead and switch out this Pokemon right here. I do have, I think I have a, an item that can prolong this Raining Dance or something like that. I could be wrong. So here goes a Swallow, and that right there. Stockpile has gone down. Let's go with a Psychic Attack right here. And, uh, well, it's as easy as that. Holy buckets. So we're getting some points right there. Star Fox grows to level 55. And it wants to learn Sunny Day. Oh, <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. I don't see the benefit of it. And, well, Moco grows. And Nacho Libre grows to level 53. And, yes, we are victorious yet again. All righty. Look at that, me doing the yes. Okay. Let's see. All right. So this is kind of like Giovanni's deal. We have to go through the... Uh, well, we have we kind of have to go through this, right? Okay. So there was no benefit in that. So I guess we have to go to... Yeah, we have to go through the green spot right here. And again, there will be some Pokemon battles that you're going to be going through and along the way here, guys. Um, let's see. There is an item that I do have... Let's see. Mm, icicle plate. I see rock. Let's see. It's right here somewhere. Ah, right, here we go. Let's give that to Moko. It's already ho holding up the uh, the lucky egg, but we kind of do need the damp rock just for this little portion. And well, here we have this lady. <laughs> Why, if it isn't the uh, the fascinating little trainer from the Kalos Power Plant? So we meet again, just as I said we would. Ah, she misses me. Okay, so here we have Cyber Eyes Liana wanting to battle us, and she will be coming out with her Mighty Enna. Well, it's not so mighty. But here we go with Moko, prepared, ready to evolve, and here's an Intimidate. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose a little bit of HP right there. So here we go, Rain Dance. And due to the damp rock, it's gonna be longer than five turns right here. So here comes an embargo. And, well, I don't know why you're strapping him up right here. Oh, we can't use any items. Well, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Here we go. Muddy Water does its trick. Here comes a Taunt Attack. And I don't think... I, I, I think we can't use the same move. And here comes a Sucker Punch. Yeah, when trained correctly, a Mighty Anna can be just annoying. So here we go. Dragon Pulse for the win. Yeah, take that. And, uh, well, it's coming out with a Drudagon. Okay, so 
This is going to be a little different because it is a dragon type Pokemon. Moko is not the strongest. And, uh, well, hopefully this will work. Dragon Pulse. Super effective. Nearly defeats Rudigon. And here comes a Dragon Claw. And damn it! Okay. This is annoying. Okay, so at all costs, we have got to make sure that this Pokemon right here evolves. So we have to evolve, or we have to actually, we have to actually use a, re a revive right here. So let's see, not this. Let's go with that. Let's go with this. Damn it! Oh crap, baskets. Okay, so yeah, Generation Six. If you accidentally use an item that is not needed, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be facing a, a little bit of a of a problem right here. So let's go with Moko. And, well, here it comes a crunch attack. That might make our Pokemon faint. And that does make Star Fox faint. This is god dang annoying. All right, Moko, let's do it. Okay, the return of the Moko. And, well, let's go straight for a Dragon Pulse for the win. Uh, yeah. That's right, Rudigon. You didn't expect that coming. All right. It is raining. It is boring. The old man was snoring. And, well, Liana, or, uh, yeah, whatever her name is, she's like, you sure are an interesting trainer. You're far more capable than our useless grunts. Yes, I am. Thank you. Thank you very much. All righty. So, she's like, I don't have the key, but I'll let you pass. But which warp panel could it be? Which one could it be? Yeah, it's always, it's always, uh... It's always messed up how they like, like like to just you know yeah they like to they like to uh, what was it make you all confused on where to go so let's go right ahead and use a lot <laughs> let's go ahead and use a whole bunch of uh, hyper potions on our Pokemon because yes we have to we have to be fit and ready to take on anything we 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 we're going up against so here we go Nacho how's it going and well let's go to the yellow side that might take us back to wherever yeah it took us back here and go here and yes okay so remember the yellow one always transports you back to some nonsense place right there so here we are spitting our way i wonder in real life if we would actually get dizzy on this pretty sure we would Okay, so here we go, taking on another trainer, and that happens to be another Team Flare Grunt, and, well, he's going to be coming out with a god dang Swalot. Oh my god, I hate Swalots. And, you know what? We got to switch. Let's go, Star Fox. We have to. It's a must. Anywho, let's see, how am I feeling? Pretty good. Feeling pretty good, yeah. Alrighty, okay, feeling pretty good about this. As you guys can see, its defenses are going up. It won't save it from a psychic attack right here. And, well, so, well, it did save it. So here comes a sludge bomb. That hits us pretty hard. And our defense goes down harshly. So here we go again. Psychic attack for the win. And there you go. Swallow it. No more. And, of course, Moko gets some points right there. And we're going to be going up against a Lypert. So this could be the chance that we've been looking for. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's go. And here comes Moko. All right. At all costs, we have make we have got to make sure this Pokemon does not faint. So here we go. Here's a Night Slash for this Pokemon right here. And yes, it is raining. I heard cats don't like the rain. Let this be true. Okay. So that's that. Here comes a muddy water, and here comes another a nice slash. Good gravy. That was uh, that was borderline. Uh, what was it? That was borderline a critical hit. I am not gonna risk that, but all right, let's go with another muddy water. Here comes assurance, and I was about to say, holy buckets, we just got defeated. But look at this, Lipard defeated, and. Wow, close. We are close. Holy buckets. Alrighty. Okay, so that's another victory for us. Okay, alrighty. So, what we need to do first is uh, heal up our Pokemon. And 
you know, pray to Arceus that, you know, they, the, the next trainer we face doesn't have a freaking uh, Swallow. Because if that's the case, oh, it's going to get so freaking annoying. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to save this game, too, because, you know, you know me. I like to screw things up. And, you know, another thing, too. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, let's go with an ether. Uh, rain dance. There we go. All right, we see two superheroes. What are they about? No sight of them here. You have you been, uh, have you seen anything? We're looking for a really tall guy, and I mean tall. If you stretched out uh, a a survivor stood it up, that would be tall. We received some intelligence that uh, Team uh, Flair is also trying to find him for some reason. His relationship to Team Flair is still a mystery, but... Oh, by the way, I've got something for you. Take this with you, Draven. We got ourselves some revives, which, well, you know, we probably do need. And... Oh, wait! We met some time ago. But I didn't I didn't get your name then. I've never heard your name before. Not once! Uh, anyway... We came here to at a certain professor's request to stop Team Flair. I assume your goal is the same. Don't you... Don't do anything reckless, okay? Yeah... Okay, we get it, Dexio. All right, maximum effort. Let's go right ahead and, uh, you know, continue our little adventure right here. Uh, that will take us back, so... Go right here. And go right here. There's a Team Flare member waiting for us. But we're going to go in here. And... Let's see. I don't know if these Team Flare members will battle us. But we do find ourselves an extra revive, which is good. Let's see. Uh, what, you want to lie down and take a little laugh? Okay. And then we get ourselves a TM-12, which is Taunt. That's another great one. And, uh, another great TM. And, oh my, you took off Team Flare's awesome suit. You didn't want it uh, to get it all wrinkled in the bed, eh? Okay, so, dress is empty. Let's go right ahead and battle some trainers. I know what I did, and I am not ashamed of it. So, fashionable people can battle, too. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a Team Flare Grunt, and he is coming out with a Lyperd. Okay. This is perfect for us. All right, Moko. You are already evolving, I think. Hopefully. Either that or some of you guys, you know, are watching this video and are laughing at me and saying that, no, he has to evolve in a rainy environment. You can't cause it. That could be the case. I don't know. All righty. Let's do this. Let's go right ahead and go straight for a muddy water. And here comes a slash attack. This Pokemon is just full of freaking crit attacks right here. There you go. And oh, nearly defeat this Pokemon. Come on, muddy water. It's goddamn slash attack. And damn it. Okay, this is a uh, this is getting ridiculous. Let's go to a Pokemon it can't damage badly. Ah, oh, crap! I picked Blade. Okay, so I am not thinking correctly right now. So let's go straight for a... Uh, let's go with this. Sacrifice Blade. Here comes a Taunt. And, yeah, Blade is not so happy right now. Let's go with a Full Restore. And go with Moko right here. And here comes an Assurance Attack. And that will be super effective... But unfortunately, Lyper got hurt with a Rocky Helmet, so yeah. There we go, Blade. Moko grows to level 50. It is raining, so I would I, I would think that it would evolve right now, probably. It is raining. Oh, God. Okay, so let's go. Mighty Anna, how's it going? And let's go straight for a Dragon Pulse. Here it is, Dragon Pulse for the win. And that nearly defeats this Pokemon right here, so. Jesus Christ, okay. Let's go one more time, Dragon Pulse for the win. Finish it, Moko. And just like that, Mighty Anna has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. So, the moment of truth has come. Will I be, uh, <laughs> will I be correct, or will this, uh, fail uh, miserably? Probably. Miserably! God dang it! Okay, so, yeah, I have to be in an environment. I can't cause it. Good gravy. All right, so, 
Yeah, yeah, I get it, guys. Laugh out, laugh all you want. Laugh all you want. Anywho, let's go right ahead and switch it out to Jordan the Goat. Let's just finish these guys off, okay? Alrighty. Ugh, man, I feel so pretty... Uh, like, I feel pretty dumb. I feel pretty dumb about this. Yeah, well, maybe next time. So here we are taking on a freaking Houndoom. So Battle of the Horns right here. Look at these guys. They both have horns. Pretty awesome. Let's go with a Bulldoze attack. And that will finish Houndoom. Oh, yes. No mercy in this dojo. And, of course, Jordan the Goat grows to level 53 after smashing up on Houndoom. And here comes a Toxic Croak. Let's go with Star Fox. Let's be, let's just be a little logical and just defeat these guys easily. Like, bam! So here we go, Star Fox. How's it going? And well, here comes an it's, an it's anticipation. I don't even know what that means. So here we go, Psychic Attack, and that will mess up Toxic Croak. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And, of course, Nova grows to level 51. Say goodbye. Alrighty. Okay. Whew. Okay, so let's see. Who's next? This is where it gets confusing, I think. Uh, not there. Yeah, this is where it gets confusing. That will take me right here. Right back, so we have to go here. And... What ends up happening is it will take us right here. Okay, so let's see. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this guy, this chick, I guess. And uh, we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be battling again. Every single one of these guys has like two Pokemon. And she will be coming out with a main neck trick right here. So let's go ahead and go with Jordan the Goat. And... Let's go straight for a bulldoze attack. Hopefully this will work, like one hit KO and stuff. And yes, it does. Okay, become very powerful. Ooh, very powerful. Alrighty, okay. And Blade grows to level 52. Scrafty is about to come out, so let's see. Scrafty, who are you weak against? Oh yes, fighting type Pokemon as well. Okay, let's go. So here we are, Nacho Libre, ready to kick some butt. And Scrafty looking pretty awesome with a Mohawk. Let's go straight for a, a high jump kick. And that right there finishes off Scrafty. Okay. And look at this, Nacho Libre, level 54. And just like that, we are victorious. We are very victorious. We are awesome. Okay. All righty. So who's next? Uh, we're probably going to have to go in here. I think, yeah. And yes, you will be seeing two Team uh, Flare members. So let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go with Star Fox. And uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave Moko just in case. Uh, I really don't care. So here we have the two Team Flare admins, I think. Huh? 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 I've seen this kid somewhere before. So who is he? I have no idea. But obviously, he's not in Team Flare. Let's get him, yeah? Yep, that sounds good to me. Then I'll, I'll get the first blow. Alrighty. So here we go, taking on a Team Flare, Celosia. And yeah, she's, she's, wait, wow, she's going to come out with like a main net trick yet again. Okay, so here we go, Star Fox. Let's get this. And uh, let's go straight for a psychic attack. Let's make it happen. Oh, uh, yes, and that doesn't... Oh, wow, it doesn't finish it off, and of course, we're going to get freaking paralyzed, because why not? Good old Draven gets paralyzed every god dang time, so let's go straight for a flamethrower. And here comes a thunderbolt. That hits us pretty hard, but here comes the flamethrower. Yes. You have no... You have no shot against us, yes. And for that, yes, Star Fox grows to level 56... And, well, let's see. We're going to be taking on a Drapion right here. Yeah, you know what? We're going to keep it for right now. And uh, this Drapion is looking all menacing and stuff. Now, is it a bug type? Yes, it is. Here comes a Night Slash. That hits us pretty hard, and we can... <coughs> oh, we cannot move. <coughs> Holy crud, the cough came back. 
I was doing so well. Oh my god. All right, hold on. Here we go. Cop drop. There we go. And let's go straight for a full restore. Yeah, we're probably going to take one good hit out of this Pokemon right here. Alrighty, so Pokemon is ready to go. Here comes a Night Slash. And that hits us very hard with the critical hit. Let's go right ahead and use a Flamethrower attack. And there you go, Drapion, one hit KO. How you like me now? Yeah. And Celosia has been defeated. She's like, <laughs> you beat us good. Wow. You are so lame. Kinda. Probably. I don't even know. Alrighty. Who's next? Oh, what a brute. Look at poor Celosia. Yeah, I am the brute. Brutus the beefcake. I don't know. Nah, he kind of sucked as a wrestler, but it was alright. Alright, so here we are taking on the Lifebird and... Yes, it's looking like to me that Star Fox might faint in this one. So we're going to give it one good flamethrower. And, uh, well, here's a sucker punch. That, yeah. Okay, so that takes care of that. Nacho, avenge your ally. Avenge your fallen ally right here. Let's go straight for a high jump kick. And this finishes off Leopard. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. B sharp, B sharp, B sharp, you know, whatever you call it. Coming out, dark and steel type Pokemon, just the way Nacho Libre likes it. So here we go. High jump kick for the win. And just like that. No B sharp, B sharp, or whatever it is called. It's probably B sharp. And, well, yeah. <laughs> she is not happy about this, so let's see what happens. Let's see. What's this? Who could have thought a child like you could beat us both? You and your Pokemon are, were utterly in sync in that battle, and I know why. You're here for answers, aren't you? I suppose you. Are, I suppose we're at your mercy. I will tell you uh, what I know, at least. We've been using the electricity we stole from the power plant to get everything prepared for activating the ultimate weapon. But it's not like that. Uh, that's all we'll need to use it for. Are you following me? We need energy absorbed from Pokemon to power the uh, device. Yes, it's the stones on Route 10 that will steal that energy for us and the power and the ultimate weapon. In reality, those stones that, that line Route 10 are the graves of the Pokemon. When the ultimate weapon was used at the end of the horrible war over 3,000 years ago, it stole the lives of all those Pokemon. Their lives were the, uh, were the price of peace then. And if we, want, uh, if we want to make our own wishes come true today, we and Team Flare also have to sacrifice some, something precious. Huh. Yeah, don't say. So, that actually... That's actually pretty cool for, like, a, a, a plot, you know? In a, in a possible remake of some sort. I don't know. I just, I'm just saying. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go to here. And this will lead us straight to this. Found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And, well, we're going to go back right here. And, let's see. Maybe if we go here. Yes, we did the correct thing. We are going to be battling a trainer. So, let's go right ahead and restore our Star Fox. All right, let's see. Where are my revives? I can't use that. There you are. Okay. There you go. Star Fox has been revived. And, well, there you go. And what is the next thing? Let's go ahead and switch him out. <sighs> let's see. You know what? Jordan has been doing such good work here. So let's go ahead and beat this guy right here. No, really. I understand it's only a natural to be jealous of the suit as styling as mine. Wow. These guys are really into their suits and all that stuff. It's freaking hilarious. Alrighty. So here we go. We are about to uh, go up against another Pokemon. And yeah... He is using a friggin' Golbat. Great choice, Draven. Great choice. So, we're going to be going straight to Star Fox right here. And, well, Star Fox, how's it going? Here comes an Air Cutter. That would have beaten a good old uh, Jordan the Goat. And here is a Psychic Attack. Let's go. Psychic for the win. And there you go. Holy buckets. Alrighty. 
And, well, Moko grows a level 51. Yeah, we're going to have to wait a while before it fully evolves or we have to find some god dang rain in here. Oh, God. Okay, so let's see. Defeated this guy. Let's see. That would go there. So let's go in here. And this one will lead us right here. <laughs> it sure does feel good to let loose every once in a while. Spying on people's holocaster conversation gets boring pretty quickly after all. Wow. The right to privacy has been gone right there. So here we are taking on Team Flare Grunt. And she is coming out with a Toxic Croak right here. So let's see what Jordan the Goat can do. Going up against a Toxic Croak. This Pokemon is looking like it's about to just beast it out. So here we go. Bulldoze attack. And that nearly defeats Toxic Croak. And, but it will lower its speed. So here comes Mud Bomb. Not very effective. All right, let's go. One more Bulldoze. And just like that, Toxic Croak has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Okay, all righty. And, well, Jordan the Goat grows to level 54. And, well, let's see. Here comes a Lyperd. Let's go straight for our Nacho Libre. All righty. Nacho Libre, I know you can do it. Don't fail me now. So here is Nacho Libre, and, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a high jump kick yet again, and, yes, success. We are not we are not getting our asses beat or anything like that. All righty. So there goes Lyperd, and we get some more points, and Nova grows to level 52. And Team Flare Grunt defeated. She's like, nice, my Pokemon. I like to let loose every once in a while, too. Not like that, though. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, let's go right ahead and see what, what else is in door number three right here. Or four, I think. And if you go into this spot, you will find another Team uh, Flare Grunt. And I believe this is the one with the key. So I'm going to switch it out with Moko. And we're going to restore him. We're going to give him a Hyper Potion. And, well, let's see. Let's see if all of this... Let's see if we can work this out. Oh, you're the kid from the Frost Cavern. On your lonesome, to, uh, on your lonesome this time. Yes. Ooh, that's cold. Colder than the cavern. Your Pokemon don't even count for anything. We gather data about all trainers in the region through the Holocaster, so we know all about you guys. And you know how the Mega Ring is used to awaken Pokemon's power, right? Just like how the Ultimate Weapon can max out a Pokemon's power. <laughs> Looks like you and me are practically after the same thing, yeah? Ah, probably. Who knows? But here we are taking on Mabel. She's looking like a superhero right here. And she is coming out with a Houndoom. Okay, Houndoom. Let's see what you're all about. Houndoom. Alright, uh, not doing that. Let's go straight for a Rain Dance just to lower this guy's, uh, what was it called? Uh... Well, or something and good gravy. Yeah, we're getting yeah, we're gonna get our butts kicked right here. If we don't hurry it up. Alrighty, so let's go straight for a muddy water. And here comes a foul play. And are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, so I want revenge now. Let's go with Nova. Revenge is a dish. Well served with a Thunderbolt. So let's go. Thunderbolt for the win. And just like that, just like that, say goodbye. All righty. And, well, here comes another foul play. Jesus Christ. How is foul play that powerful? Okay. Come on. Avenge your, your fallen comrade right there. And... There you go. Houndoom has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So that right there gives us a few more points. Nacho grows level 55 and wants to learn Sky Drop. Okay, so this move right here is, uh, well, user takes the target into the sky, then drops it during the next turn. The target cannot attack while they're during the sky. I would love to use it, but eh, I, that, that's why we have Fly. It's a much more powerful Sky Drop. It, it, essentially, yeah. Okay, so here comes a Weavile, and, well, let's see. 
Screw it. Let's go with Nacho. Let's go Nacho Libre style right now. See what it can do. All right, Nacho. How's it going? Looking pretty cool right there. And, uh, well, Weavile's looking uh, pretty mean right there. Finish it off with a high jump kick. And here comes an ice shard. Holy buckets. Hitting us pretty hard. High jump kick for the win. And there you go. Weavile defeated. Okay, all righty. And just like that, Blade grows to level 53. Mabel not liking herself. Oh, you are that strong. You and your Pokemon are most certainly not ordinary. Yes, I know. I am not ordinary. Yeah, normal's overrated anyways. So after defeating her, she's like, ding, ding, ding. Yep, you did it. The victor, to the victor, goes the spoils. Here's an elevator key for you. Oh, it's a big, it's about damn time. Okay, the power of the legendary Pokemon, the, the power to steal life uh, uh, around it. It's mysterious ability that even scientists like us haven't been able to really decode. What do you think it will, ha will, will happen to the world if we fuel the ultimate we weapon with uh, something like that? That would be chaos. Pure and utter chaos. Okay, so it looks like to us that we have completed, uh, we have completed our little task right here. So, what's going to happen is in the next episode, guys, I am going to use the elevator key and do things. I think off screen, I'm going to have to like check up on uh, a few things when it comes to, you know, our good old buddy Sligoo and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will continue this adventure right here in the next one. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.